Welcome back. So when you're working with open source like we are um, inside this setup right here, you have so many modules, right? All these modules are people building them. Some of them are built by bigger companies. Some of these built by people who just want to help out. Uh, you sometimes end up with weird, weird things happening inside your code. Now, right now I'm using Web, uh, WebStorm and I love that tool. It's a great tool. I really like it. Uh, and, and right now I'm working with the newest version. I just went and updated it. And the reason I did it is I just had a major bug on a student computer. And now that's kind of cool since I'm a teacher right now. That is that I face so many different machines, so many different versions, and it just ends up sometimes being some crazy issues, some crazy bugs that we can't find. And it might run on your machine, and then it doesn't run on a coworker's machine or something like that. And then you, can, you have a few choices. If the code is working on your machine, either you forgot to send some data to your GitHub repo, or there's something wrong with the development tool you're using. Right, NPM is broken, something like that. You have to figure out the bug, right? And we kind of fought this for a while and actually the student himself figured out a solution. And I want to show you guys the, the actual error right here because I think it was kind of scary that the IDE could kind of destroy the system. And again, kind of without us seeing the errors, it actually kind of just swallowed the exceptions and didn't give us any information about the errors at all. It just gave us some crazy debug information and we had a hard time finding it. But let me show you what actually happened. So what happened was the student kind of uh, used WebStorm, which is great, and he had auto import. Now the problem was when he auto imported, let's go to the service right here. When he auto imported the from this guy right here, instead of getting it from RxJS, what he actually got was this import. So he got an import right here, the from import, but notice where it's from. It's from RxJS internal observable. Now this is just, it's accessible, I can go and get this, but it's not working. So we started getting some crazy errors and again since this was auto imported and we never checked the top of our code, we just couldn't figure out what the problem actually was. Now again, student was good, he figured out the problem himself, good job, but if you're using an IDE and you're like, what the hell is going on? Well at some point you might want to check your imports and in this case we googled and googled and I did found a couple of pages that said well if you have something with internal there's something wrong with your imports and um, you need to go and test this you need to figure out and I think the most important thing to understand right here is that even though your code is perfect if you have a bad IDE that sometimes just messes up or you have a bad library external library or a third part library that messes things up it's just hard to develop some sometimes but again Use the tools out there, Google it, try and find the error, try and bug through the error. And again, it's back to the point, if you do unit testing, if you start testing your code, if you start throwing errors yourself, you'll know it's not your code that messes up. You'll know that it's a third part library somehow, or in this case, the IDE that actually tries to help you, but in this case, kind of just gave you some, some bad information, right? That messes up your code. And it just makes you stronger at finding the issue because if you can say yourself, I know it's not me, I can see my unit tests, I can see my code running on my machine, the difference is the other person is using another version of the IDE in this case or whatever else, it must be the problem, right? Because I know my code is stable, I know I've unit tested everything. So testing is worth it and we will dive into it in the near future. And as the final thing right here, let me try and show you the error that popped up. This was the error. And this is impossible to read. We have no clue where the problem is happening. And it said, you're provided an invalid object where a stream was expected, you can provide blah, blah, blah. Okay, that makes sense. And then it just says these, you have no clue where in your code that this actually should have a problem. You can see this is external libraries, all of it. So we had nowhere to start the debugging. And it worked on my machine, his code worked on my machine. Um, but as soon as he went to his own machine and did auto imports, everything failed again. So that was just a small lesson. You guys just have to take care of this and you'll make everything shine. Have a great day, see you next time.